What is up, bros? Josh here. Today's video is all about the Tier A Italian Premium Battleship, the Roma, and is it worth it? So, per usual, we will go over all the stats, show some gameplay, and I'll break down analysis if it's worth it, what the ship brings, and if I recommend it as a ship itself. So, first of all, Tier A, let's break down what's at that tier, and it's a lot of really, really good premiums. So, not only is there a lot of competition, also coming with a Tier 8 Premium comes the Tier 8 Premium price. So, we're looking at a ship that's going to be between 40 and 50 bucks, and on on top of that, there's extra bonuses. Obviously, the Roma has the Trollo Lull uh, premium uh, premium camouflage, which we call the Stella Can Camo, um, and that's an extra bonus on top of the actual ship itself. It was sold in bundles, but let's just talk about the ship itself. Now, this is a ship uh, I think a few people actually got through the Christmas containers, so I know I've seen a few more than I have in the past, so whenever we get those, a lot of people are seeing it asking if it's worth it, especially when we play it live on stream. But what does the Roma bring? Now, first of all, Tier 8 is stacked for battleships, and they're really, really, really good. So to go out and say, yes, go buy a premium Tier 8 battleship, it must bring something unique, a unique playstyle, or something that gives you an advantage over other ships at this tier. Now, does the Roma do that? Mm, it's kind of debatable. Hit points, though, 65,000, very competitive at this tier, torpedo about 38%. Now, one thing that this ship does have is insane bow tanking armor. Um, you will bounce the Yamato shells, and the main thing is the four armor belt right here. The 130 millimeters will actually bow normal 32 millimeter plating, but this four armor belt helps you just not get obliterated, and you can actually bounce a ton of shells because it's really hard to overmatch that. Um, actually, if you take that off, too, you actually have some decent uh, protection there. But this thing is known for just bow tanking a ton of damage and that's what helps this thing really be a good brawler um, the roma extremely extremely tanky obviously if you are still giving broadside you will get punished like a normal battleship would so three three by three 381 millimeters shells that's a little bit to be desired if you go over to something like the monarch which kind of is the same thing if you played the monarch it's kind of comparable for that uh the roma there but comparing it to something like the alabama Alabama is going to be bringing those bigger shells, same with like the NorCal, so it's not the biggest shell, but what you do make up for is a bit more of a competitive reload at 30 seconds, as well as a pretty solid trajectory at 850 seconds, but one thing you really have is very fast main, uh, a very fast turret rotation, so that's one thing that this thing has, and one thing that turns this thing into a really good brawler is just faster reload, or faster turrets, They're almost cruiser speed at 30 seconds, let's just you know, something else that's known as being just kind of a good bow tanky ship, the Scooter of North Carolina, 45 seconds. So you have that advantage on other ships, especially if you add an expert marksmanship as a captain skill. So that is kind of where this thing sets out. On top of that, it doesn't really have anything that's crazy for secondaries. doesn't really have anything crazy for AA. I mean, the AA is all right, um, but you're not going to be getting any uh, clear skies in this thing. And you, will, you are very susceptible to AP bombs as well. And main battery firing rate. 18.1 uh, kilometers so nothing to write home about but if you've ever seen or played this ship the dispersion is pretty maddening on the roma um you can either shoot lasers or not or you'll just completely mess the ship no matter what so you're going to be doing the majority of your effective fighting relatively close um, obviously it's still a battleship so you can still hit salvos maneuverability 30 knots so pretty quick turning radius 810 meters rudder shift 12.5 seconds and one of the things that makes this thing stand out is a extremely low detection so what the roma brings as a ship itself for tier 8 very stealthy very fast firing guns well not really fast firing guns very fast turning guns and decent firing rate so on top of all that you mix that in you kind of see what this thing does and it's known for being a brawler but we have other ships at this tier that are really good brawlers certain things like the turpits um having pocket torpedoes this roma does not uh, Massachusetts having insane secondaries, so if you are going to brawl, you got to go through its barrage of secondaries to get within range, and also getting picked on by that. And then, of course, you just have tried and true ships like the Alabama and North Carolina that are just going to be able to hit you harder than you can hit them. So, the Roma does have some ups and downs going for it, but we'll check out some gameplay and check out how this thing can be pretty strong. Now, just keep in mind, throughout going through this video, these are the stats we're looking at. I do a pretty dang big survivability build. Again, I don't have expert marksmanship, so the turrets could turn even faster. Very basic 14-point captain, picking up the AFT to get the little bit extra secondary. 
a little bit of extra AA, and then for the modules itself, normal premiums, as well as a little bit AA boost, you could easily pick up aiming system. I'd highly recommend it. I just tend to get a little bit focused by CVs just, just in case I wanted to see how good the AA was. But picking up aiming system mod one would be a fantastic thing on any ship that's a little inconsistent on its salvos. Um, other than that, though, I kind of stick with this. Obviously, you'd pick up main armament mod one. I was testing out a little bit more of AA builds a while ago, so still have those on here. Um, steering gears and then concealment, getting that down. At the second lowest concealment of this tier, you use and abuse that as much as you can. 11.2 kilometers is basically cruiser level concealment. Let's dive into some gameplay, show how this thing planes, and show how kind of the strengths and weaknesses can be shown in one game itself. Then you'll see us also pick on a battleship that's just trying their best, but we're in the Roma. So here we are in game with the Roma, and as you can see, we're even bottom tiered. Now, one thing that the Roma does bring is it does bring some tankiness. So even getting bottom tier, I think the Roma still does okay. Obviously, you don't want it to happen <laughs> going against stuff like, I don't know, Yamatos and, and Montanas. But one thing you do bring is you bring a tanky battleship, so you can actually get into situations where you can just kind of bounce their shells. So it is, I would say, a little bit more of a... It's not a new user-friendly ship. It really isn't. Uh, one thing that you don't get with this is just easy kind of... Uh, the guns are inconsistent. I will say that throughout this entire video. Um, obviously, they can still slap, but what they do is they don't slap consistently. And that is something that I think is one of the biggest drawbacks from the Roma because there are so many other good ships at this tier. Tier 8 is super competitive, so you want the best ship you can get, and you want the best battleship you can get, especially if you are going to get bottom tiered. Now, the Roma does things that other battleships can't. It has the fast turrets, it has good tankiness, but there are other ships that kind of do what it does, maybe not exactly as good, but has other tools that kind of does what it does, but ends up doing it just better. Now, it is a tier 8 battleship, so you can make lots of credits. That is fantastic. It is Italian, so it's one of the few Italian cruisers if you want to start training up captains for the future. That's fantastic, too. But the, the toughest part for me to say if this ship is worth it or not is looking at everything else at this tier. And even though the Roma is the best brawler straight up gun for gun, it's not even the best brawler at tier 8. And what I mean by that is the Turpitz has the four torpedoes on each side that just kind of nullify anything that the Roma could do better gun wise and so as well as secondaries as well as the Massachusetts having its secondaries as well as other ships just having bigger guns to punish them on the way in these are all things that are kind of going against the Roma and even if you take away what those other ships have okay is the Roma fun is the Roma going to be better in other situations and what the Roma has and this is something that we've kind of found out with the Prince Otto Frederick at tier 6 is that there there are situations where the Prince Otto Frederick is pretty bottom tier when it comes to tier 6 because it kind of lacks being effective at long range but what it lacks at long range and as you can see right here, we'll give the, the inaccuracy of the guns. We'll make fun of the guns for being smaller caliber. But remember, it's still a battleship. So you can still get big old hits on broadside battleships. It's not a thing that's uncommon. And it's not a thing that it's not going to happen. It's just there are situations. Obviously, that was a terrible example. I didn't realize it was the next salvo. But um, there, are, <laughs> there are situations where you are still just a battleship. And you can be very effective. But... The thing when I say this is worth it is you have to look at so many variables, and those variables for me are one, what does it do different than other ships at this tier, and is it worth that price tag? And for me, sadly, I just don't think the Roma is. I don't think it brings anything that's unique enough at this tier, and what it brings, I think other ships already do better, and where the heck is this salvo? I know I did one salvo on something, maybe it must have been later, anyways. 12 hits, 12 or 11 hits, 1200 damage. I, I messed up the timing on that apparently. I just remember getting a big old Savile. We'll see it in a little bit. But um, again, what does the Roma do? The Roma is fairly tanky. Sorry about the spotter plane. That's just how the replays work. It, it brings it itself, first of all, a kind of unique play style, but is that unique play style anything that is worth writing home about? Not really. 
Not really. I mean, you got to think of other brawlers at this tier. Uh, you know, getting that close quarter combat, and and it's not so much about like brawling being bad. And that's what I'm talking about right there. There's the hit I was I was talking about. Almost 27k. Sit it all on the broadside cruiser, uh, or broadside battleship. We'll definitely take that in any kind of even especially bottom tier. Um, but the thing that this thing does really well is finding situations that really aren't that common. And that is getting close into a brawling situation where you can absolutely just start out turning, out maneuvering, and then getting that salvo. And you will see that happen later this game where we will pick on the other tier 8 battleship in this game. But for me, in a game full of RNG, I want consistency. And if I can't get consistency, I want something that's extremely fun. Does the Roma bring any of that to this game? Not really. Now, I appreciate that I got I got the Roma free through a Santa Crate on this account. We're playing my alt account right now. I appreciate that. It's made me a lot of credits. But would I recommend people going out and spending 45, 50, whatever dollars it is, um, euros, Canadian dollars, wherever the currency is that you are? I just don't see the value in it. And that is something that I say. Uh, if you are a ship collector and you want something that is kind of different, sure okay pick up the roma and, and you just want to kind of have you know an italian trainer sure but really if you can just get the caesar salad at tier five uh, if they ever sell that ship again i definitely just grab that but as the italian ship itself it, it's a bummer because it's tough to look at that price tag and go am i going to get 40 or 50 dollars worth of fun out of it and i think what you'll end up doing is getting 40 dollars 50 40 or 50 dollars of man i wish i was in a different ship i mean as sad as that says as sad as that sounds now you'll get good games you'll get bad games uh, as you will on any ship but it seems like the downside of the roma is just the inconsistency of its guns and the situations where you can be highly effective what ends up happening is you get into situations where you are just an inaccurate and consistent battleship throughout the entire battle um so that is a bit of a bummer and, and one of the biggest drawbacks of the Roma. Now, I am Team Roma. I think this ship is kind of fun to play because I, I, I respect unique play styles. But uh, there was a situation where I was grinding credits on this account and I was spamming the Roma. And I just didn't want to play it anymore because of... You just get a couple games in a row where the gods aren't giving you good dispersion and you're missing your shots and you just you can't take it anymore. So I think that's a pretty good um, example of probably not the best ship to grab for everyone if you're if you are going into a ship saying i don't want to play this anymore that is something of a bummer you know what that's never happened that's never happened to me in north carolina that's never happened to me in the massachusetts turpits sure it can happen uh you know you get a little bit of dispersion it's a little off but that's uh, for other tier 8 premium i mean that's never happened in the alabama you know there's these are other tier 8 premium ships that it's gonna not happen at all or just be a lot more uh inconsistent on games that are just like all right i don't want to play this the, the roma has actually been in a situation where i just don't want to play the ship anymore because it, it's just been kind of um it's been gr grinding my gears now there are a lot of situations actually it was kind of funny back to back um we had and once we get into the the real brawling situation maybe i'll show the other clip but there are i mean there are times where the roma just shines and this thing is just an absolute gem you'll see it when you get into a bow tanking situation um i think the game is slowly kind of starting to push through um i'm trying to remember where exactly we go against uh the ship we're looking for that north carolina i think that's been undetected all game that's what we're looking for it's going to be a tier 8 versus tier 8 ship um but uh you'll see us just kind of absolutely wreck somebody that is in a similar tier ship now um one thing that this ship brings is it brings a low detection uh but it really isn't even usable that much because if you are going to be a battleship you're most likely going to be firing your guns so the low detection the low detection brawling battleship seems good on paper but in reality it's really just it it's hard to find those situations and what you end up wanting is something that's just more consistent at range um you know there's a lot of things that that sound good on paper that stealthy battleship and getting and lining up but but what wargaming has to do is they have to balance something being stealthy compared to something being too strong and if you do that uh, something's like too strong the, it's too accurate you run into a problem where it's just overpowered and the wargaming doesn't really want that so uh, that's what you kind of get with the roma is you get situations where and there you go kind of a broadside and we got three ricochets that's because of the smaller caliber guns 
since the buffalo just bounced that if we were in something like the 406 millimeter shell with um uh let's say the north carolina or something like that we probably would have been able to pen that now you'll see us kind of just push this way obviously we can't get into a situation where we're just eating secondaries from both the freddy as well as the uh uh, the GK that's just to our south, but we will continue to work and continue to pump out. Now, I do, I do respect things that are different. I think this was a good try of of bringing something different. I do get some fun out of it from time to time, but the main thing is, is it worth the the tier eight premium price tag? And that's something we have to look at. I just don't recommend it. Um, if you want a good, like, if you want an Italian trainer that uh, there just aren't that many examples of, there aren't that many kind of trainers. You have the Duca di Asta, Duca Abruzzi, the tier six and seven cruisers. We have the uh, Caesar salad, which is at tier five, um, and the Roma now at tier eight. Now we will get hopefully some more in the future, maybe even a line, who knows? But obviously, I think it's 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 just something that one you're gonna have to start at a, I mean. There's no other way to get Italian captains, so you have to train it up that way. So if you are newer to the game and you want to get a tier 8 premium ship, um, hopefully not too new to the game, uh, I definitely would want to pick this up because you can't switch over other captains. Um, that's one downside about kind of niche lines like this. Niche lines, sorry. Um, is that uh, you get into situations where you can't rotate captains over from your other ships onto the premium ships to level them up faster. There's no ships to rotate over with the Roma. So that's a bit of a downside. So if you are newer, that's something to keep in mind too. Um, you really can only switch over other premium. Now, obviously, not all dispersion. That's a that's a laser, right? That's gonna that's gonna dunk a broadside cruiser every time. And um, the Roma, although inconsistent, obviously it's still the battleship. You can still get death strikes on battleships, cruisers, destroyers, and the gods will align every once in a while. Um, but here you kind of get the, the situation of us not being in the perfect example. The Roma does better bow in than it does ass out. So, um, as you see, we're kind of continuing to lose our gun. This guy's picking on us, but we will rotate the main bat over. I actually think I was, like, scared I timed this wrong. But he switched his guns over so I know he could make the turn up on the superstructure. And then no big deal. So we take this, and now you see the Roma do Roma things against... <laughs> you see the Roma do Roma things against uh, this North Carolina. It's just not even fair. Um, this is where this ship will shine. So if you want like a good um, brawler and you are constantly looking for situations like this, I mean, you kind of, a lot of people want that macho style brawling situation. There's not a ship that's better than this. Again, maybe I got to give it to the Tirpitz, but straight up gun for gun, um, the Roma will win most situations like this because it's so tanky. And because it's just insanely good at getting those turrets quickly out. And as you see right here, I'm trying to take those, those main batteries out and timing in. But this is the bow in play style that the Roma shines in. Obviously, you've seen us have a decent game throughout, but this is all stuff that we could have probably had. Or, I mean, easily we could have had in, in any other tier 8 battleship um, up until this point. And we would have potentially even had better results so far. Like we would have probably killed that buffalo on that salvo, potentially saving our shima. We could have other, killed other stuff faster, hit something harder. Um, but this this situation is the highlight of the Roma. And as you see, this is really weird right here. I'm surprised we got this salvo. Um, <laughs> random citadel right into the nose of the North Carolina. We're just gonna tilt our head like a confused dog, and we're not gonna question war gaming because apparently the map is there. But we will take this. But you will see him bounce an entire salvo on us. You'll see us tank uh, basically all the rest of this damage as we kind of just play with our food a little bit. You won't feel... Um, this is where the ship feels comfortable. And that is kind of nice because other ships you are, you are worried about. And there's that dispersion. Obviously getting three full pens for 1900 damage is a bit of a bummer. And we're using our maneuverability. We're trying to juke in and out of situations. And, uh, you know, he's hitting me a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Uh, where would we be taking that? So we're going to fake the ram. We're going to get our turrets on the other side. As you can see, I'm already starting to turret. And there is that turret rotation right there. One of the fastest ones. I think it is the fastest one at this tier. Giving me that broadside. We're going in. And nothing he can do. Smacks us a little bit there. But, hey, nice to know you, bud. And we've probably just made guts in the process. So, um... A nice little game here, three kills, bunch of damage, and uh, some secondary hits as well. And there we go, Pasta La Vista. So uh, the Roma overall, 
it brings something kind of unique, but it's better on paper than it is in reality. And what I mean by that is the Roma brings a stealthy battleship that's good at brawling, but how many... A, a stealthy battleship that's good at brawling and excels in close quarter combat. But the, down, the down part about that is we have other ships that kind of do that already. They're kind of better at it. And... Uh, it's in a tier that there's just a lot of other better premiums that end up being useful premiums, more useful premiums. Again, downside, uh, up, upside of this, it's a good, it's a good brawler. It's, it's maneuverable. It has a unique, it has a different play style. Downsides, it's a nation that you aren't really having the most useful captain, um, a useful trainer. One, it's a, another one, it's a tier eight premium price. So you're looking at 40, 50 bucks for this ship. Um, two, super competitive at this tier. Uh, too many other good ships that I highly recommend at this tier that kind of just are overall more consistent, overall just better pickup, USN premiums, IGN premiums, stuff like that. Um, ships you'll get a lot more use out of. Uh, but the Roma, it tries, and I think it does succeed at, at bringing something different. But overall, I just do not think it's worth it. Um, and uh, I think it, it's definitely worth putting some money into some other ships. Tier 8 matchmaking is even, in my opinion, kind of decent. Um, but still, uh, just... What else is at that tier? I think it would be definitely worth spending some money elsewhere and then letting the Roma kind of just be that weird ship that you never really see. But when you pop up, you go, oh, hey, they do have an Italian tier eight battleship. But overall, that's my review, my analysis of the tier eight Italian battleship, the Roma, my thoughts on it. And overall, I think it's worth a pass. It's something cool. It, it's, it can be a port, a port icon if you want it really. Um, but I think your money will do better elsewhere and especially other tier eight premium ships. There's lots of really good ones. So anyways, guys, that's just my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below what ship you want me to do next in it. Is it worth it series? And uh, let me know what you think of the tier eight Italian battleship, the Roma. But anyways, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.